everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys this stretched natural hairstyle I'm doing it for the first time so if I seem a little stressed it's because I am <laughs> you know I always want to do creative things when I have the least amount of time so I'm starting out parting my hair as you can see I moisturize that section and then I'm adding my Cantu edge control just around the edges I'm gonna be doing a large French braid. I don't know if this is a French braid or a cornrow. I think it's a French braid based on, no, 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 it's not. It's a cornrow <laughs> based on the direction that I'm braiding. It's definitely a cornrow. Okay. So I'm braiding down that section. Once I finish that section, I'm going to go back and loosen up the braid at the root. And this just gives a fuller looking braid to kind of look like a crown around your head. So this part is essential. You can also just use some braiding hair and pin it or braid it into your hair and then go back and fluff it out just to create a larger cornrow on that side. And then on the other side, I'm going to start off by doing a smaller cornrow kind of at an angle. I just really wanted to do something different, something that looked very unique and I didn't want to do just two big cornrows on the side of my head. Although that is pretty, I was just trying to go for something different. <laughs> so I'm doing the same thing, moisturizing the hair, going in with my Cantu edge control, and then brushing down that section and starting off with the cornrow. I personally do not add a lot of product to my hair just because my scalp is super sensitive, but feel free if you're doing this to add as much edge control as you need to really snatch your edges. Not like snatch them out of the root, but you know, lay them down. <laughs> So I'm going to braid that section back. Also, I forgot to mention in the beginning, but I'm doing this on blow dried hair. That's how I stretched it. Once I finish that section, then I'm going to move on to that top portion. And I was kind of brainstorming. I was thinking I could do another small cornrow. I was like, hmm, that's a little boring. So I decided to go for a zigzag pattern which was a little bit of a challenge to actually carry out, but I did achieve the unique look that I was going for. <laughs> so I'm going to part that front section off and basically do an even smaller cornrow to start the zigzag going straight down. And like I said, I'm going in, I've already moisturized that section and I'm putting a little bit of the Cantu edge control and brushing down uh, my baby hairs. And then I'm gonna go in and just start corn rolling down that section. You wanna do it at an angle just so that you get the most exaggerated zigzag. <laughs> So then I'm going to go and part the section behind that. And basically in this section, I'm going to do a top braid and a bottom braid. So I'm going to start off with the top section, parting it basically into a little box. I'm then going to separate the section into three and I'm going to add the end of the previous braid to that very top section of three. You don't want to add it to that bottom section because you're not really going to get the exaggerated zigzag pattern if that's what you want to go for. Once you've added it to the section, you don't have to braid down the whole thing because you're going to be adding it to the next section. So I'm going to go in and part the section directly below that. Once that's parted, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to separate that section into three, add the ends of the previous braid to that top section, and this one I'm going to braid all the way down. It's really, it ended up being like one zigzag down, up, and then back down. I tried to do more zigzags in the back and it was just 
looking a little strange. So <laughs> I thought that this was probably enough. So then I'm gonna gather all of my hair together with a hair tie because in the back I'm basically gonna do a low bun. But before that, I'm gonna go in and braid three braids within the bun. This is just, again, to add some more flavor, some more spice to my bun. <laughs> you could just have a regular bun, but like I said, I was I was in the mood for something different. I'm a creative person at heart, and so anytime I have a chance to be creative, I just want to go all out. So this is by all means not necessary. However, it does make your bun look a little bit more unique. Now that I've finished the three braids, I'm going to wrap my hair all together in a bun. You can use a sock bun or something to give you more fullness, um, but I just wrap my hair together. And as you can see, I'm arranging the braids so that they're equally spaced apart and just give a little bit more texture to my bun in the back. Once I'm happy with where the braids are arranged, I'm going to secure it with a hair tie and pin that down in place. Next, I'm gonna brush down the back of my hair. <laughs> I took my little braids down so I can effectively brush down the section. I'm now gonna go in and add my gel. Because I do have natural hair and this is blow dried hair, I didn't wanna add the gel too early because then my hair will revert really fast and just get puffy. So I add my gel kind of as the last step just to brush everything down and calm down all the flyaways. I'm gonna take the little ends of the braids and bring them across. At first, I was just going to bring them up across and pin them, but I decided to twist the ends together so it kind of added to this little crown Grecian look. Then I'm going to pin those sections down in place. Once I have finished gelling down the back and pinning everything down in place, then I'm gonna move on to the baby hairs. So I start off with a little bit of water, not too much, because like I said, I don't want my hair to revert. And then I'm gonna go on top with my clear Eco Style Gel and basically brush down all of those sections. Like I said, I'm kind of a minimalist when it comes to the amount of product that I add to my hair. I feel like it definitely would have looked more sleek if I added more gel and more edge control, but it's not worth the side effects of like a super irritated scalp. So I just try and find a happy medium. Once that is done, then this is the final look. Well, not the final look. I still have to put my scarf down to really lay everything down in place. So I'm going to put my scarf on, get ready, do my makeup, get dressed, let that sit. You want to make sure that your gel has dried by the time you take your scarf off. And this is the final look. I think the one thing that it's missing is just some embellishments. I think if I would have put some gold wiring or maybe some little pearl accents, it, it really would have completed the look. But I'm so happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one.